So let me ask you, how wise is your brain? <laughs> We're about to test your intelligence, but if you're expecting some run-of-the-mill IQ test, think again. Standard IQ tests are widely criticized because they typically measure just one type of intelligence. Whether it's spatial visualization, deductive reasoning, or just how good you are at taking tests. Of course, human intelligence is way more complex than that. What about wisdom and common sense? Can you measure those? Of course you can! Are you ready to find out how wise you are? Then let's get this show on the road! You'll be given 10 real-life situations and 5 seconds to decide which of the two options you'd choose in each scenario. Don't overthink your answers. Pick the one that your gut instinct gravitates towards immediately. That way, you'll get more accurate results. Now, if you need more time, feel free to pause the video. There are no right or wrong answers, but one approach might be wiser and thus more effective than the other. Alright? Here we go! Number 1. Your kid has started getting bad grades in math, even though you know they're a good student. Do you lecture them about it or hire a tutor? If you start lecturing your son or daughter about their bad grades, you might be letting your own emotions blind you to the best solution. Simply scolding and yelling at someone who isn't doing what you want does nothing to help the situation. It just makes that person feel bad about themselves or get defensive. It's better to help your kid who's struggling with a certain subject by hiring a tutor. That'll be a much better solution to the problem. Number 2. You're building a house. Do you do everything on your own to cut costs, compensating for your lack of knowledge with enthusiasm and online how-to videos? Or hire a professional? If you DIY it, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. As Socrates said, the wise man knows he knows nothing. In other words, it's important to know your limits. If something is way beyond your skill set, ask for help. That's especially the case if you're doing something as complex as building a house. Challenging yourself and believing in your abilities is good and all, but sometimes it's better to trust a professional. That's the wisest solution. Number 3. You're pretty good at what you do, but you've never taught anyone your skills. Your boss insists that you lead a masterclass for students in your field. Do you have faith in your abilities and teach the class? Or refuse to give a masterclass without teaching experience? Again, smart people know what they can and can't do. And just because someone's an expert in a certain field doesn't mean they'd make a good teacher. Teaching others is a skill in and of itself. So if you know you're not cut out for teaching, and you're sure that you won't help these students out very much in their learning process, then refusing to give a master class isn't a bad decision. In this case, it'd be wiser to let an experienced teacher lead the class. Number 4. You have some free time. Do you indulge in a creative hobby or zone out in front of the TV or gaming console? Wise people have creative hobbies. They engage their minds in other fields outside of what they do for a living. Creating on your own can help you think about life and solve problems in new and unique ways. You also get to sharpen your mind and imagination by telling stories, drawing, writing, or building things. On the other hand, 
If you spend all of your free time passively consuming entertainment rather than engaging your creativity, you miss out on a lot of opportunity for growth and mental exercise. Number 5. You're broke. Do you blame your boss, the economy, your parents' social class, or any other sort of external factors? Or feel a little discouraged, but pick yourself up and do something about it? Hey, hey, we all feel dissatisfied with ourselves and others sometimes. That's only natural. But recognizing our responsibility for fixing our own lives is part of wisdom. If you spend all your time looking for someone else to blame for your misfortunes, you'll never find a way forward. A wise person acknowledges their financial troubles as a combination of their circumstances and their own actions, and they come up with a plan to correct the situation. Number 6. You learn a lot in school, but is it really useful? Sure, it's all useful in one way or another. Knowledge in any form is worth having. Or, who needs calculus? I'm never going to use that. Wise people recognize the use of even seemingly not applicable knowledge. The way numbers work together can be applied to the relationships between all sorts of things in the real world. Learning for the sake of learning is never a waste of time. And who knows when an insight you pick up in class will have an unexpected use in the real world. If you're wise, you know there's no such thing as useless knowledge. Number 7. You have a co-worker who's much more capable than you. You're afraid he'll try to take your position in the team. What do you do? Get rid of him. Your job is at stake. Or try to work with him. The wise decision here is to look past your jealousy of someone who's smarter or more skilled than you and consider how you can benefit personally from their skill set. Definitely don't humiliate this other employee. That's not kind or good for either of you. It's better to work with the person rather than risk missing out on a ton of knowledge that may prove invaluable to the whole team's efforts. Number 8. Your best friend doesn't watch scary movies, but she loves this one particular actor who happens to be in a horror flick you want to see. What do you do? Invite your friend, but don't tell her the genre of the movie. Or Invite her, but make sure she knows what she's getting into. A key aspect of wisdom is emotional intelligence, which is the ability to understand people and empathize with their feelings. Being able to sense and respect others' emotions helps you build good relationships and predict how your friends will react in any number of situations. In this particular scenario, surprising your friend with the genre of the movie is really cruel. It is, however, wise to give her the choice whether to come to see her favorite actor or not. Number 9. You're doing some holiday shopping. Do you buy things well in advance or buy everything the week or even the day before so you can save time? Unless you can predict the future with perfect accuracy, you probably fall victim to unexpected circumstances just like the rest of us. Wise people make plans and contingencies for when their original plans fall through. If you do all your shopping at the last minute, you're going to waste precious time waiting in long lines at stores. Plus, you risk not being able to find what you wanted to buy and end up having to settle for some second-rate gift because that's all they had available. Wise people know how to make their lives easier and avoid stress when they can. Number 10. A big test is coming up at school, and you're only about 70% confident in your knowledge of the material. Do you study extra just in case? 
there might be something you don't know in the test, or trust the knowledge you have. Worst case scenario, you'll at least barely pass. Well, it's possible that the test will catch you completely off guard, and at that point, it'll be too late to go back and study. You might make it through okay, but you'll have to expend a lot more energy and brain power than you expected, and that could affect your performance on the test. It's wise to be prepared for any situation, to assume that the test is going to be harder than you think. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's the wisest thing to do. Alright, now let's see how you did. If you made the wiser decision in all or most of these situations, congratulations! You look for the essence of things, respect other people's feelings, and know that those who overestimate their knowledge are rarely successful. You know your strengths, but at the same time, acknowledge your weaknesses. You plan ahead, adapt to change, and actively work to develop your skills and knowledge. On the other hand, if you chose the short-sighted answer in five or more of the situations, you may have an incomplete view of things. You tend to easily take risks, and your odds of success aren't always high. Do a little more soul-searching and thinking things through. Consider all the possible consequences of your actions, and how they'll impact you and those around you. Here's a bonus! Which girl in this picture seems happier? If you chose A, then the left hemisphere of your brain might be more developed than the right side. Is it easier for you to learn math, foreign languages, and solve logical tasks? Those are all specialties of the left hemisphere. Oh, and your emotions probably don't get in the way of your critical thinking too much. Now, if you pick B, then the right hemisphere of your brain is most likely in charge. Are you really good at recognizing people's emotions? Are you talented with musical instruments or drawing? The right hemisphere of your brain specializes in these fields. Your imagination is probably pretty powerful, too. So, how did you do? Do you have common sense and wisdom? Are you a left or right brainer? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun and useful videos right here on the Bright Side of Life.